Good morning everybody. I am going to demonstrate how to hook your gauges up to a heat pump. This is for professionals on this one. If you mess this up and you're trying to troubleshoot your own heat pump at your house for some reason, refrigerant spray gets on your hands, you could lose the use of those hands. So definitely don't try this unless you know what you're doing. But a lot of the professionals had questions about how to hook gauges up to a heat pump to get the proper readings and I'm going to show you. Like I said, this is an Amana heat pump same as a Goodman brand. A lot of them are very similar to this. Let's take a closer look. The power is off to this machine. I don't want it coming on while I'm trying to hook up my gauges. So I have it shut off. There are three ports here. We'll get a closer look at all of those and I'll label them on the screen. We have our three ports. I'm going to talk about each one of them. The first one, we'll refer to them in their air conditioning name, is the suction line. The larger line you see it's on the top right side of the screen. I'll indicate it. In air conditioning, that is where our vapor comes back to the heat pump from the evaporator as a cool vapor. On the bottom, we have our liquid line. It is actually the liquid line in both cooling and heating. In cooling, the refrigerant circulates through the condenser. Outside, it condenses into liquid and flows to the evaporator through this line. it will be flowing in this direction. In heating, it's flowing in the opposite direction. That is why we have bi-flow filter dryers. It is coming back from the condenser, which is now on the at the air handler or at the furnace in a dual fuel system and flows back this direction. In both cycles, it is the liquid line. If you look at the top left, you see a port by itself without a service valve. That is the true suction. No matter if you're in cooling or heating, this will give you a suction pressure near the compressor. In heating, this port can be used to charge. I generally charge in cooling at the suction service valve. That is because there's less of a chance that liquid refrigerant will be a factor as far as getting into the compressor. Just gives it a little bit longer run before it gets there. Of course, you may use some device that causes it to turn to vapor before it gets into the line. Most people use gauges that look like this. I think most techs still have analog gauges, so I'm going to use my analog gauges to show you how to hook this up. Of course, there are four ports. Here, we have our high side to measure liquid. We have our port for entering refrigerant from the refrigerant jug into the system. Hose is typically yellow, the high side is typically red. There's a vacuum port, I don't have anything hooked up, I don't really pull vacuums through a manifold anyway. And here's our low side, you see our compound or low side gauge, suction gauge. And there it is, it's typically a blue hose. So we're going to hook it up and take a look and see how it's hooked up. Alright guys, you can see we have hoses hooked up here. We have our blue hose from the low side of the gauge or compound hooked to the suction line. This is a cooling hookup. If you're running an air conditioning, you want to check the charge. Most of you guys are familiar with this method. The red or high side hose is hooked to the liquid line, the smaller copper line. That's a pretty common way to do it. Now I'm going to show you how it would look with a heating hookup. Now you can see that the red hose is still hooked to the small line, the liquid line, at the liquid service valve. This is now in a heating test mode. The suction line has been abandoned because it is not the suction line in heating mode. It is a hot gas line. Hot gas directly off the compressor, superheated gas, goes inside for heating purposes. At the top, you see there's a small port on the body of the unit. That is your true suction, like we had discussed. That is where you'll get your suction pressure in heating. So again, you look down here, you see the red hose connected to the liquid line for your liquid pressure. That doesn't change from air conditioning. Up top, on the other port, you'll see your blue hose connected to that heat charging port is what I often call it in my videos. That's where you get your suction pressure. You can also get suction pressure from there in cooling, but in heating, that is the only place you're going to get it on this particular machine. And that is how to set up your gauges and heating and cooling. 
I will attach a picture at the end of this video with the indicators on it to reinforce what we have talked about.